Well, in a tragic turn of events, the sudden death of a 12-year-old boy on Grand Key has sent shockwaves throughout that community. Tonight, family members are reflecting on his life. They say he loved fishing, playing sports, and they will miss him dearly. Here's that report. <sighs> March 18th, 2023 is a day that will forever be etched in the memory of the mother of 12-year-old Dioralee McIntosh. It was the day her son's life was tragically cut short while playing basketball with his friends. He was playing ball, having a, you know, back and forth, and he threw the ball back and he told them, hold on, give him a minute. And then he ran and he sat down and he laid back and that was it. According to his mother, there were no known underlying ailments that could have contributed to his untimely death. However, in February, he woke up with an abnormal heart rate. So we went to the local clinic in Grand Key. Um, we got a charter. We came over to Freeport. Say he was dehydrated. After they put him on the drips and everything, he was on a hard one and almost a whole day. Everything was fine. We went back to regular. We came back to Grand Key and... That was it. He was fine. The sudden death of the 12-year-old has taken both his family and the Grand Key community by surprise. The young boy's classmates made tributes in his honor. Two words to describe the early. As a track star and a basketball star. Smart and humble. Athletic and caring. Wise and inquisitive. Charismatic and supportive. We love you. We miss you, Diorly. His coach and homeroom teacher at Grand Key All Age School, Rashad Richardson, mourns the tragic loss of a promising young athlete. He says the young man was eagerly preparing to compete at the National Track and Field Championships in New Providence this week and expresses that his death has left a deep impact on the entire team. Not seeing him on the boat to pick him up to saying, hey, Mr. Richardson, a radio to run uh, was, uh, was a huge blow and very devastating to, and it break me off to be honest. A makeshift court has been arranged in the backyard of his grandmother's house, serving as a reminder of the joyful moments spent playing the sport. Although they won't witness him playing on it again, the family holds on to the cherished memories. And I thank God for him. I give God all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. I'm hurting, but I'm smiling because all the glory belongs to God. He was smart, he smiled. He was funny. <laughs> Everything would be missed about him. An autopsy is being performed to determine the exact cause of death. As for the family, they are making burial arrangements.